With the state's ongoing opioid epidemic, another mother is the face of heartache after losing three children to deadly drug overdoses. Tonight, she is in the fight of her life, pressing for change. She spoke to Chris Nakamoto in the investigative unit about her efforts to make meaningful reforms. Sylvia Michael, Pam Revis has experienced loss that no parent should ever have to go through. Three of her children dead from drugs, two from fentanyl overdoses. Tonight, she's pressing for laws to change and begging leaders at the state and local levels to do something. As long as we ask God and ask Jesus to come into our heart, be our Lord and Savior, our kingdom is up there waiting for us. This TikTok video of Sean Revis talking about his love of God is the last video Pam Revis has of her child. His body was found near a home on Ford Street three weeks after he went missing in 2021. You've got to put a stop to these dealers. Hakeem Allen was arrested, accused of supplying the streets of Baton Rouge with deadly fentanyl last October. The investigation began after Sean Revis's death. According to the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office, the small neighborhood church on Page Street was also a hot spot for dealing dangerous drugs like fentanyl. After a months long investigation, a drug task force narrowed in on 27 year old Hakeem Allen. I lost two children in July of 2021. Both to fentanyl. My daughter Danielle on July the 3rd from heroin that was laced with fentanyl. And then three weeks later, my son Sean died from 120 milligrams of fentanyl poisoning, which is what it is. It's poisoning. This is Sean Revis, who died from fentanyl. This is her daughter Danielle, who also died from fentanyl. And this is her third child, Matthew, who died of a drug overdose in 2006 from methadone. How do you process that, losing three kids to, to drugs? It's one of those things that I can't really put into words, Chris. Um, there really aren't any words to um, describe what you go through as a parent. When a child that you've carried in your womb and you've nursed on your breast and you've changed their diapers and you've been to their soccer games, um, just dies. You can't explain it to anybody. It's something that you have to walk through. And it's, a, it's a, a living hell on earth, and it's something that I would not want anyone else to ever have to experience. Revis is now focusing her energy to reform efforts, hoping that her story will save other people's lives. As I've taken my, my, my loss, my pain, and my anger, and I've channeled it into trying to make a difference in my community to try to stop this from happening to other people. Last year, 100,000 people died of a fentanyl overdose in America. Baton Rouge had 291 deaths. It's murder at the hands of these dealers. At the end of February, the parish was up to 39 deaths, with many more pending toxicology tests. Revis's push for reform has her meeting with lawmakers at the Capitol in hopes of stiffening penalties. He would buy prescription pain medicine off the street and comes after East Baton Rouge Sheriff's detectives arrested a suspected prolific drug dealer who's accused of supplying the streets with fentanyl. When Frank Beecham was arrested last month, he was already out on two other bonds accused of doing the same thing. The way that I digested is my faith is that I've had to to just trust um, trust the deaths of my kids to God, I believe that, you know, that he's going to bring something, birth something good for the benefit of other people through it. This upcoming session, law enforcement and other stakeholders are hoping to champion some legislation creating stiffer penalties for those distributing fentanyl on our streets. Beecham, who was arrested last month, remains in jail on a federal hold. Sylvia.